Hey everybody, welcome back. It is episode 16. 16. One six. Can you believe it? 16. And I'm proud of it. Yeah? Yes. Why? Because we're being consistent. <laughs> I know. Being consistent is the hardest thing, you guys. <sighs> everybody thinks, oh, I could just do a podcast. But if you ever look like on Spotify, mm -hmm. and um, well, I'll give you an example. So we were, uh, when we were trying to figure out the title or mm -hmm. the name of our podcast, mm -hmm. And we had a couple of ideas and I went on, I go, wait, let me check to see if anybody else has that name. And like the number one choice that we had, had like two podcasts mm -hmm. with the same exact name. Mm -hmm. um, and then you look and they have like four episodes that were like from four years ago. And then they haven't made any sense. Right. And one of them had a couple in a row, then was gone for a couple months and then whatever. So consistency is key, you guys. <laughs> so we're very excited to be here. Yeah. Number 16. Number and that 16. is... That's four months. Yeah, it is four months. Yeah, that's pretty cool, man. It is. Have you guys done anything for four months consistently? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you guys have because you guys are all awesome. So, um, but anyway, so <laughs> when we talk about uh, like our, our uh, topics, topics, yeah. I mean, honestly, you guys, we have a whole list of things that we put on a list, and we were like, okay, this would be so funny. And right. literally, the day we're supposed to film, we always look at it and we go you know what's really funny? And then we'll talk <laughs> about something or you know what's really interesting or impactful that mm -hmm. I think that we need to talk about. So one day we'll get to our list. <laughs> and a lot of those things on the list were submissions by you guys. And they they're were. really good. So we're keeping them on the list. So mm. um, I think that'll get us through the rest of the year because we keep <laughs> piling them up because you guys keep DMing us. So that's cool. So yeah. keep the suggestions coming because we love them. And we use them. Uh, but this week's episode was... Um, inspired by <laughs> my son, if you will, Mr. Donnie Dumps himself, <laughs> Mr. Donovan Tamatoa. Yeah. Um, you know, he's he's a young man. <laughs> he's young and dumb sometimes. And uh, he was goofing off and not doing what he was supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. And so he got in trouble. Mm. And by that, you know, he's going to get a lecture yeah. and, you know, he's going to, you know, have to do some reconciliation, if you will. <laughs> And so we were laughing about it and we we're like, man, if that's the the dumbest thing he does, right. we're 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 living life to the fullest. <laughs> like we're we're high fiving each other. We're um, you know, I mean, it's it was it's so minute compared to what we used to do when mm -hmm. we were young. Correct. So we started getting <laughs> going down that pathway of yeah. like reminiscing of the dumb stuff that right. we used to do. Right. And then I was like, you know what? That would actually be a really good episode it to would. talk about the dumb shit we've done yeah. when we were younger. Uh -huh. And then if you guys have any dumb stories, <laughs> share them in the comments when right. this is posted because we love to hear them. And if you guys send us even more, yeah, we'll maybe, share. and we get enough, maybe yeah. we'll do a, a part two. Yeah, and of, share them. Yeah, of yeah. dumb things people do. Yeah. And I guess that the, the moral of the story is, even though you do dumb stuff, mm -hmm. you're going to come out on the other end. You're going to learn from it. Uh -huh. And we move on. Right. And it, it's one of those things where you're like, this is not funny because you're getting in really big trouble or you did, did something so dumb. Sure. But we're going to laugh about this later. <laughs> and you always think at the moment, I'm not going to laugh about this later. Right, right, right. Oh, but you will. Yeah. It's pretty, like, I can recall in these, as, as the stories I'm going to share with you guys, I can recall how I felt. Yeah. And the feeling, I mean... When I talk about it, it still comes back. Yeah? Yeah. And it's like, it was fear. You mm. know, I'm going to get, oh, man, I'm going to get so much in trouble. Mm -hmm. You know? But it didn't last long because I was like, fuck it. Yeah. You know? Because I was already in trouble. Yeah. Oh, that was my mantra. <laughs> fuck it. Like, you know, like, just for instance, like a curfew. I never made curfew. Mm. And that makes sense because I'm always late everywhere. Right. So I never came back on time. Mm -hmm. But I was never really allowed out of the house because my dad was super uber strict with sure. me and my sis my sister, but not with my brother. No. He had no <laughs> no curfew at all. <laughs> so if I was out late and I knew I was gonna come back late, yeah. I was like, I'm gonna be in so much trouble when I get home. <laughs> I would be nervous and I'm like, oh man, I'm gonna be so late. And then I'd be like, well, I'm gonna be on I'm gonna be on punishment for like a month, so fuck it, let's yeah. go have fun. <laughs> and then I would dance my ass off or whatever, whatever it is I was doing, yeah. I, I did it to the fullest yeah. and got it in as much as I could. Then I went home. I already knew if I'm five minutes late or I'm five hours late, what's the difference? Just I'm still same. gonna get in trouble. Yeah. So I might as well have fun while I'm doing it. And then when <laughs> I'm done, then I'll come home and get my ass whooped. <laughs> 
I mean, what are you going to do? Super ass backwards. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's called like living life to, its, to the fullest. That's why I have that. It's the abundance mindset I've been talking about that I have. And I don't know where it came from. Hmm. And maybe it was from that. Maybe it was from that knowing, hey, everything's going to work out. It always does. I get in trouble. I get my ass whooped. And then I'm on punishment for a month. And then, you know, it's like child slave labor for a month. And then I come back I'm, and I'm back like I never left. <laughs> You know what I mean? So yeah. then I'm like, ah, it's going to be fine. I already know the drill. <laughs> I already know what's going to happen. So might as well have fun, right? <laughs> so that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about the dumb shit we did yeah. when we were younger. Right. We're going to kick it off with the dumb stuff our kids did. <laughs> and We um, just there's shared one, Donovan. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, we still, we're going to share another story okay, for that with Donovan. But, yeah. um, but, you know, we're going to share one story for each kid. Yes. And they're pretty funny because... I'm not even kidding, and you know this. Yeah, our kids were so good. They were. We were they, like pretty like. That's what I'm saying. You know, my son at 19 doing dumb stuff right now <laughs> is like that's it. A lot of kids are out drinking, doing drugs, yeah. not coming home, yeah. whoring around, right, right, whatever right. they're doing. Right. And my son's watching TV when he's supposed to be doing his chores. Like <laughs> what? You know. So I'm like, I'll take it. You know. Yeah. So. Um, remember, blessed. yeah, so we'll go over oldest and youngest. So, mm -hmm. remember when Dason was, I think she was in elementary school, it had to be like fourth grade, maybe third or fourth, one of those. Yeah, mm -hmm. it wasn't third, I think it was either fourth or fifth grade. Mm -hmm. But she, um, that her teacher had a treasure box that had lots of toys and right. erasers and yeah. you know, rings for your fingers and all kinds yeah. of cool stuff, and their little notepads. Yeah. And it was just jam packed with just fun stuff. Sure. And if you did your reading log, yeah. you did your reading and then you had to log it. You had to do a little report and then you, your parents had to sign it, you know, confirming that you did read what you said mm. you read, how mm. many pages, whatever. And so <laughs> this treasure box was new and it was mm. all the rave and all the kids were like sitting at the edge of their seat <laughs> every day waiting, you know, till because Friday was when you got to turn you in your to, books. Yeah. yeah. You turn in your little log yeah. sheet or whatever for the week yeah. for the week. So Dason did all her reading, mm -hmm. but she forgot to get my signature on, on, yeah, on one on one of the days, like a yeah. Wednesday. Yeah. And she forged. <laughs> can you imagine a fourth grader, <laughs> third or no, fourth or fifth grade? I can't remember. But uh, can you imagine? signing my name and i have a pretty intricate signature sure. and she signed it in pencil yeah. first of all because all of the other ones were in pen <laughs> she did in pencil and then um i think she did it on a wednesday i want to say then she got friday came mm -hmm. she got to go to the treasure box mm -hmm. she picked out her toys or whatever mm -hmm. and then um she came home and then i was looking through her backpack mm -hmm. and I, I she was telling me all about the treasure box and i go oh let me see what'd you get she was show, showing me all her loot <laughs> And then I go, cool, let me see your book, you know, your log book. And I look in it and I was like, who's this, who signed this? Because it's like my signature, my signature. What the hell is this in pencil? <laughs> my signature, my signature. And I go, what is this? And she goes, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> immediately <laughs> coughed, coughed to her, her. She didn't even deny she it. She didn't even deny no. it. No. If it was Drew, she'd be like, hmm? <laughs> Drew would never lie, but she would be like, play dumb, like, hmm? You know? And so she was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean it. I really wanted to go to the treasure box. And I was like, you lied. You forged my signature. And then I got all dramatic. I'm like, that's a federal offense. Is it, you could go to jail for I, that. If I can remember, you made her take all this stuff back. I did. I said, guess what you're going to do? Put it all back in Monday the morning, you better box. scoop all that stuff up right now. Go put it in a Ziploc. Mm -hmm. Put it in your backpack. And when we go back, you're going to go back and you're going to confess. And yeah. she was like, I don't want to confess. <laughs> uh, I'll give everything back, but I don't want to. And I was like, nope. Yeah. And so we went back on Monday morning, she and I marched her ass right into that classroom. And teacher. I go, go ahead. Tell her what you did. And she was all, I'm sorry. <laughs> and the teacher's looking at her going, <laughs> and looking at me going, damn. <laughs> this parent is very involved. <laughs> she was a good teacher. No, she really was. Yeah, Jason really loved her. Yeah, she yeah. was really cool. And so... She was like, okay, yeah, put it back. Yeah. And, you know, and I think it was just the pure, like, yeah. embarrassment uh, yeah. of having to give everything back and, and confess. But guess what? <laughs> She's a protective society or protective, protective human of society. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we don't roll like that in our house. So <laughs> that was one of the things. And I'm like, it'll be fine. And then we laugh about it now. Yeah. So, yeah. So funny. But it's not even like that bad, you <laughs> no. know? 
Some of the kids in those classes were just little hoodlums, man. Sure. You know what I mean? <laughs> they would just be doing crazy shit. I mean, even in my class, like when I was younger, right. I would right. do crazy stuff. Right. But I'm like, oh. And in my head, I'm going, it's so innocent. And I'm like, you're going to go to jail. <laughs> Put it back. So that was Dason's story. That was Dason's story. Yeah, I remember it. Mm-hmm. Um, just like it was yesterday. Yeah. You know, I remember how she just, she didn't even lie about it. Mm-mm. And she had the longest eyelashes, too. And when she would cry, her eyelashes would get all yeah. stuck together. And yeah. it looked like she had spiders on her eyes. Yeah. And she was so cute. And I'd look at her and go, like, she's so cute. But you're going to go to jail for doing that. <laughs> Don't do it again. <laughs> and Drew, she, like, we were hard pressed to find, some, like, to remember something about Drew yeah. doing dumb stuff or getting sh- in trouble. I'm sure there are, but it's Yeah. Just... Most of the time, it was just arguing with her sister, yeah. fighting over clothes. Yeah. Well, Drew's thing was if, if your shirt is in, in my drawer, <laughs> you know, because if Tate does, Tate does laundry and then he mixes their stuff up, if it's in my drawer, then I get to wear it. Yeah. That was like some rule she made up to <laughs> benefit her. And everyone, and like, Dayson's like, that, so take it off. And she's like, it was in my drawer. And then it's got a big old ketchup stain on it. Like, <laughs> Drew is notorious for just staining everything. She still is, kind of. And which is ironic because one of her favorite colors is white. <laughs> she loves to wear a white shirt. And you're like, why? I sent her a meme the other day that said, um, what did it say? It said, me eating ketchup. And then it said, my shirt. Hey, let me have a taste of that. <laughs> and I sent it to Drew, and I was like, Drew Core for sure. <laughs> so, um, but one of the ones that really stands out, one of the, the stories that really stands out for me was when she was like two or three. She wasn't even in school yet. No, yeah. she wasn't she was preschool. Walking. Yeah, no, no. She was in preschool, but mm-hmm. she wasn't in like elementary school. Mm-hmm. Um, but I remember, you know, we... We'd go to Target. Mm-hmm. It was like one of the fun things we did. And mm-hmm. we, I'd let them hang out in the dollar mm-hmm. section or whatever. So we're doing all this stuff and we're leaving. Or she had asked for to, you know, to buy. So, Can I have this? Can I have that? Every five seconds. I'm like, no, <laughs> put it back. No, put it back. And so she's like, mm. so we leave and I'm pushing the stroller. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, I'm, of course, I'm standing behind the stroller and pushing it. And then I just see her little hand like hanging out like this and dangling something <laughs> and going, and you know, like, and looking at her, going, "Wait, we have to find our way." <laughs> she had a great imagination, and I was like, "Find our way? What does she do? What does she have in her hand?" And mm. I go, "What do you have?" And then she, you just see her little arm go, <laughs> <laughs> and then I came around the corner of the stroller and I said, "What do you have?" And she's like, "Nothing." And I go, "Open your hand," and she went like this, and it was a little compass, like yeah. a keychain, yeah. but it had a little compass on it. And I said, "Where did you get that?" And she's like, just looking at me. Hmm? <laughs> and I'm like, where did you get that? She's like, well, I don't know. And I go, oh, did you steal that? Yeah. And she was like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and just started crying. And I was like, I got, we got to take you back in. We're going to take you back in. You're going to tell the lady. And the lady's going to take you to, to Target Jail. Not Target Jail. Please don't take me to Target Jail. She's like, why did you steal it? And we were already to the car by then. Yeah. And I was like, why did you steal it? She's like, I don't. <laughs> I said you have to pay. So I did the whole thing. Like you have to pay for it. Yeah. You can't take things that aren't yours. Yeah. You have to earn the money to to buy those kind of things. Yeah. And then she's like, "Please don't take me back in there. They're gonna take me to Target jail." <laughs> and I was like, "Okay, fine. Get in your car seat and put it on. Put your car seat on and, or buckle buckle up." And then I don't want to hear anything. So I was gonna take it back in, and then I was like, "Oh, I'm late. I forget we were going somewhere. Oh, I think we were taking a day to soccer practice." And I was like, "Oh, forget it." Mm. And I found that little compass the other day. Shut up. I still have it. I still have it, and I'm I'm gonna take a picture of it, and then it'll be up here, and you can see it was like this dumb little white keychain that had, it was a little compass. Yeah. So, a dumb thing our kids do, yeah. right? Oh man! So I always used to make up stories. Remember? <laughs> I know it's probably bad. I listen. I was a young mom. I was trying to like figure it out. No, I think it was great at that time. <laughs> at that time, it worked. Look, it worked. I know it worked, but. <laughs> I'm sure there's better parenting <laughs> ways than instilling fear in your kid of going to jail and doing a federal offense for forging a signature. I'm pretty sure there's better ways I could have approached that. But, hey, that's the information I had at that time. It, yeah, it worked. So all good. Yeah. But I used to do that all the time. You're going to go to jail. When I used to babysit, I babysat these kids, and they used to chew with their mouth open and you guys know i have misophonia so mm-hmm. hearing them chew and watching them which is which is was even gross well, more gross 
<laughs> like the eating just even dipping friend uh, fries in ranch and then the little strings of ranch in their mouth because they're chewing with their mouth open made me want to vomit. So I'm like watching these kids, right? And they're new. I just started babysitting them. And every time I did, like, maybe it was the third time I was babysitting, and they kept doing it, and I kept saying, hey, chew with your mouth closed, chew with your mouth closed. And they wouldn't. And finally I said, hey, did you guys know that when you chew with your mouth open, the, the food in your mouth attracts bees? Did you guys know that? And they're like, no. And one was, I think, seven. Well, no, one was eight, one was seven, and <laughs> I forget the other, like four. And they were like, what? And I go, yeah, it, they come in, and they fill your mouth up and sting it. And then your mouth swells up so much you choke and die. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Hmm. And I just kept eating. And they were both, the older kids were all, and never chewed with their mouth open. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't know what I was doing, so I had to make stuff up. So hey, that's how I did it do with their kids. It, it worked. And I think I was only like 16 when I did that. So I didn't know what I was doing raising <laughs> kids then. So, I mean, not that I would, because I was 16 babysitting someone else's kids, but... When we had kids, it was kind of like I just kind of did the same thing. I just made up stories so they would listen. And you guys have all done it. Santa, <laughs> I'm calling Santa. You're not behaving. <laughs> we even did that with Donovan. We said, well, I'm calling Master Peche when oh, he was in Taekwondo. Worked and then every time. He loved him so much. He was like, please don't call him. Yeah, worked and, like a charm. And I'm like, then put your underwear on <laughs> and put your pajamas on and get in bed. <laughs> so anyway, good times. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, but we're speaking of Donovan. Yeah. We, um, he, when he was in seventh grade, mm -hmm. listen, this kid has always learned the way he learns. He's super duper smart, but mm -hmm. he doesn't learn traditionally like the way the other kids do. They hear something, they're taught something, they think about it, they remember it, they regurgitate it, they write it down, they take a test. With him, he does it all backwards. And I don't, I can't even explain to you how <laughs> this kid learns. And if I showed you how he learned how to do math on his fingers, he would go, oh, uh, 45 times 39. And he would go like this. He would go, and then he would go like this with his fingers, and he would go, oh, it's this. So I don't know. He's Rain Man. I don't know <laughs> what that means. I don't know how he counts on his fingers like that with big – it was weird. But he did it. So, but I don't know. I know. Who taught you that? I don't know. That's just how I learned. I'm all, oh, okay. All right. And so, yeah, really, really That's weird. That's funny. So the reason why I bring that up is because when he went to – he went to a charter school mm – -hmm. All the way up until sixth grade. Mm -hmm. And then when he went into seventh, well, you know this. I'm yeah. like talking to the people. Right. Um, when he went to seventh grade, we ended up putting him in public school. Like the charter school is a public school, but it was run like a private school. Mm -hmm. But this public school was like a public school. A public school, yes. Where girls were wearing, you know, seventh graders were wearing booty shorts yeah. and <laughs> fighting over boyfriends and stuff. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't <laughs> even remember this. But, and my son's over here, do, do, do. <laughs> And I remember we had open house night and we all went and he goes, I have my, my friends are over here. And I was like, oh, yeah. And then it was I, Daisy and Drew with us, too. All, yeah. all of us were walking. Right. So the four of us were walking and Donovan's walking in front of us. He goes, right. yeah, come with me. My friends are over here. And I think it was Drew that said, let me guess. Is it the group over there in the Harry Potter cloaks? <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, hey, friends. And they all turned around in their little Harry Potter cloaks. And they were like, so he had this little nerd herd yeah. with him. And he would hang out with them. And so they used to have these binder checks. Yeah. Right. So Homework for whatever time. reason, they had these big binders and everything was sectioned off. And he, it had to be like it was teaching him time management, it was teaching him organization skills and all that good stuff. And yeah. so his teacher, Mrs. Fritchie, yeah. would have a binder check like once a month. And he just he would do the work, but he wouldn't put the, the work in the binder. Yeah, it was so weird. I don't know. You always, anyway. I always find it uh, on the bottom of his backpack, yeah. like in a, in a crumble. Like. Yeah, in a big ball underneath, like, and it would be at the bottom, and yeah. then the binder would be on top. Like <laughs> he just shoved everything in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what he was doing. <laughs> so he got, you know, I, he got a note sent home saying, you know, he is not doing his homework. And yeah. I was like, what? no way, dude. I check that thing every day. There's yeah. no way he's not doing his homework. And he was like, I'm like, what? bring me your backpack. Right. And so he takes his binder out. And I go, what's in the bottom of your backpack? And he starts pulling all these papers, papers out yeah. that were supposed to be in the binder. <laughs> anyway, long story short, I go, I found a paper and I go, what's this F? Yeah. And he was like, oh, um, well, I mean, Miss, you know, Miss Fritchie, you know, I go, Miss Fritchie did this. And he was like, yeah. And I go, and Miss Fritchie, because it said date, right? And I go, are you listening? And he goes, yeah, I was watching, you know, Miss Fritchie right on the, the date. Man, today is awesome. And so my son writes... <laughs> Awesome. The date. Where the date is. I go, oh, really? Miss Fritchie told you to write 
today the date is awesome. And he was like, what? I go, why did you get an F? Did she give you that F? No. He, my friend behind me, because you, know, you pass your papers backwards and right. then they, the person behind you corrects them. And I go, yeah. that's your friend? The one in the Harry Potter cloak? Yeah. Why, did, why didn't he hook you up? Why, <laughs> why did he give you an yeah. F? He's like, I don't know. So I'm like, and he didn't, that was supposed to be signed. Yeah. And you know why they were stuffed on the bottom? Because they were all, the, they weren't bad grades, but they were like notes, like where's your homework? You're missing and, this. Yeah, and, you're yeah. missing this. And they were all shoved in the bottom of this thing. So he got in trouble for that. Yeah. But he tried to lie yeah. and say, oh, no, Miss Richie said that that was okay. And I'm like, did she now? <laughs> hmm, let me just call her. That was another thing I used to say. All right, I'm going to call. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm going to call. And then they're like, no, <laughs> I'm going to call your principal right now. You know I'm never going to call. I don't have time for that shit. Anyway, those were our kids. So they got in trouble when they were young. But see how they were so innocent? They were like nothing. No. Nothing compared to what we're going to tell you right now. No. And we have a bunch. So we're yeah. probably going to have to make a part two of this. But. Like we did when we were kind of bouncing. I, yeah. One time I did this. One time I did that. And I'm like, I didn't know that. Yeah. And we were dying. It was bad. It was bad. So I'm like, man, if our that was the worst our kids did, because that's all we could remember to tell you guys right now. <laughs> man, we made it. We we made out <laughs> as, as parents, because there's parents that are on the struggle bus. Big time. I saw my friend Jen B. Shout out if you're if you're listening to this. Um. She, uh, her little two little ones, her two youngest right. ones, she posted a, a picture of them, uh -huh. I think two days ago on Instagram, uh -huh. and they were cleaning the baseboards on their staircase. Like, you know, there's the stairs and then there's the landing and then there's more stairs. Yeah. She, they were cleaning with like cleaning supplies, like the baseboards. And she goes, yeah, when your kids get bad grades, <laughs> I make them do all the work I don't want to do. <laughs> and she had them doing manual labor. And I was like, yeah. that's what I'm talking about. That's great yeah. parenting right there. Yeah. Right. So I can she said they got bad grades. So I'm only guessing like what they did, because I remember when her other son was he's Donovan's age, he got in trouble. And yeah. she had she asked her neighbor, do you need any work in your backyard? Or oh, anything? right. I remember. Yeah. That. And he was like, oh, yeah. And he she had him like digging rocks and volunteering all down the neighborhood. <laughs> and she put a like literal Facebook post out. Does anybody need any work this summer? My son will come do it for free. Yeah. I'll, Jen's badass. I love I her. So I funny. That. Anyway, so yeah. let's get into our stuff. Sure. Let's get into the dumb shit we used to do. <laughs> I can't even, I can't even, some of these are so funny. I know. They're crazy. So go ahead. So I'm going to, I'm going to start with uh, um, when we used to live in Santa Ana. Okay. Mm -hmm. As kid, we were young as kids and, and it, the summers used to be super hot. I remember, and we didn't have a pool, but our neighbor had a pool. And uh, when he wasn't home, <laughs> we would jump the fence and jump in his pool. Mm -hmm. so so we would all like and when i say we i talk about my brothers i don't think my sister ever was there it's just me and my brothers we would take turns watching and then so someone would watch and then someone would jump in the pool and then someone would say hey, so what would you guys do just jump in <laughs> yeah like jump in swim around come and then yeah. you guys would just take turns just doing take that? turns over <laughs> and then why did you guys just all go in at the same time <laughs> Because we needed someone to watch you needed a lookout yeah so there was always someone watching was so we, someone like this yeah on the fence, just like was anyone <laughs> was anyone sleeping on the job? <laughs> <laughs> no, but then we it got stupider because stupider. Be, well, because we started daring each other, uh -huh. right? Because the closer end to us of the pool was the shallow end, mm -hmm. and the deep end was way down there on the other opposite end. So my brothers kept saying, "Go further down." So I'd go to the middle of the pool, jump in, and then run out, right? <laughs> and then a bunch of times my brother would say, "They're coming," and we like ah, ah, panicking, and there's no one. <laughs> Who, what brother was that? <laughs> My oldest brother. <laughs> <laughs> he was the one that would do that. But yeah. it's just the stupid shit we do. You know, my parents weren't home. Yeah. No one was there. Yeah. And we would just do it. Every, any chance <laughs> any chance we could jump in there, we jumped in there. Because yeah. it was so freaking hot. You know? And and by the way, his neighbors were white. Yeah. Can you imagine all these little brown boys yeah. like, <laughs> getting caught in the pool? And Did and, you guys ever get caught? No, we never did. Uh huh. Yeah, we got lucky. But if he was home, he would let us swim. They would he would invite us over to swim, yeah. you know? But they weren't <laughs> home, so <laughs> that's awesome. I love that. We did something similar, but we um because we were supposed to be watched by a babysitter, but our babysitter would drop us off like ten blocks away from the park. Oh, you told me about this. And said, yeah. Hey, walk your ass. I'm tired of driving <laughs> driving. I don't want to drive you all the way down to the end of the, you know, street so you could go to the park. So there was like a community pool, but sometimes it was closed and sure. all of us would hop the fence and just swim in our <laughs> freaking shorts. Then we would lay out on the hot cement until we dried out and then the babysitter would come back and pick us up. 
<laughs> and you guys never got in trouble? We, no, we never got in trouble. We got caught once, mm-hmm. but it was like a security guard going, hey, get you kids. And we were like, fuck you. Yeah. Like, we were so bad. And we were like running and we were like, eh. and then we would hop the fence and we, and we never got caught. Yeah. And, uh, but we didn't go back for like weeks. True. And then we went back again. Yeah. Hmm. See, dumb shit. Yeah. All right. Dumb shit. I have another one. Um, um, I loved basketball when I was a kid, mm-hmm. and I, I played a lot in Samoa like crazy. Like you couldn't, you couldn't stop. Like my mom could punish me all she wanted if I it had to do with basketball. I'm playing. So one time I got so much trouble because I did s- some stupid shit at uh, school. <laughs> so my mom said, "You're not going anywhere this weekend. You're staying home." And I said, "Okay." And then my friend said, "Hey, we're going to play basketball." Like on the other side of the island. And we loved playing at this court specifically because they had the metal nets, mm-hmm. right? The steel nets. Cause we love the sound of the ball. Mm-hmm. So we love playing there and, and it's really competitive. So last game we're playing, we're winning. We've won all the games we've been there. And then I'm, I'm, I jump up to go dunk it, but that, that net was broken. Mm-hmm. So, so it had a hook on the bottom. So I went, I jumped the dunk and that hook caught my tooth and totally just tore it out. Bow. Right. Mm-hmm. And then the game stopped. They tried to find it. They couldn't. It was busted already. We're, Why did you want to find a hat? <laughs> well, he, one of my buddy's dad's a dentist. Oh. And he was saying, I think my dad can glue it back on. <laughs> <laughs> we could find it. You know you what I mean? You just need a, a dad of Gorilla Glue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so yeah. we were looking, but we couldn't find it. And we were like, Phew. so we were done going home. The whole ride home, I'm like, I gotta tell my mom she's gonna be so pissed. And I'm like, the whole Why time I'm going you like this. Why just pretend nothing was going on? You're like, hey, ma. The whole time I'm going, right? Because there's this big hole right here. Oh, I remember. That's how I met you. He had like no tooth. Yeah. So, anyways, I, I go home. My mom's like giving me a lecture, blah, blah, blah. And then I'm just going here, listening to it, going through it. And then I go, she goes, what happened? And I open my mom and show my tooth. And what did she say? That's what you get. We're going. You're not going to get it fixed. We're leading. <laughs> Go to your room. <laughs> and you know what? She was a woman of her word yeah, because I never he, fixed it. I fixed it for him <laughs> way later, like way later, like years and years later. And he just he had a half a tooth the whole time. It just grew. I don't know what happened. It just grew on me. I didn't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even notice it. But when he got it fixed, all of a sudden he was all. <laughs> You hate life. Remember, not- remember when I, I came over for the dentist and you called me? Yeah. Hey, what are you doing? Smiling? Yeah. <laughs> remember? He's like, I can't stop smiling. Like smiling in the mirror. And I was like, dang, <laughs> that's crazy. But yeah, that's stupid shit I did. And my mom said, we're leaving. Yeah, she's like, that's what you get. Yeah, that's what you get. <laughs> and then so I was nicknamed Nifopu from then on out. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? That means missing tooth. <laughs> Means it means tooth, ah! <laughs> tooth with a hole. <laughs> <laughs> so from then on out, that was my nickname. Dude, no wonder you were an angry Santa. Yeah, man. Dude, I was pissed. <laughs> but I had to live with it. Oh my gosh, that's funny. Yeah, dude. One time, this is one of my stories. I got in trouble. Well, I didn't. Well, yeah, I kind of got in trouble. <laughs> so I was in the eighth grade, and you know, boy crazy, my. Yeah, you know, I'm like hot shit because I try. I thought I was because I hung out with all these rich white girls and I'm like trying to fit in or whatever. And I remember we were at a, f- <laughs> a football game and my friend's dad took us and he drove this little Toyota Corolla, but it was stick shift, right? Mm, yeah. So um, I don't know how, I don't know why, but this guy was flirting with me and we were walking and I saw the car and I had my dad, my friend's dad's keys mm-hmm. in my hand. Mm-hmm. And um, he was like, oh, yeah. And he was older. I think he was in ninth grade, maybe 10th grade. I was mm-hmm. only in eighth grade. And he was like, oh, you know, yeah, you know, I got my my driver's permit and everything. <laughs> and I go, oh. And then he looks at the keys in my hand and he goes, oh, you you drive? And I go, yeah. Doesn't everybody? <laughs> I'm in. How old are you in the eighth grade? 13? 12? 12 <laughs> maybe? And he goes, you don't drive. And I go, yeah, I do. And he goes. No way. He goes, let me see. that. Those those aren't your keys. I go, yeah, they are. So I walked over to the car, and I unlocked it, right? And he was like, man. He goes, let's go around the block. And I was all. <laughs> <laughs> My heart was pounding, right? And I was like, okay. I 
it. <laughs> I was going to I was going to drive it cuz remember I told you I drove home one night yeah. and that was like a month before that sure. before that happened so I was like I drove my dad's car yeah. for like my dad was really drunk one night at yeah. a bowling alley and so I had to drive him home and I was like so scared. So I was 13. Sure. And um so I go I mean, I, I got us home and I was really far away and this is just around the block. It'll be easy. I'll pull it around and I'll park it right back where it was. So I did it right. Not did it. I got in the car and he was sitting in the car and then I, I, I didn't realize it was a stick shift. <laughs> so I went to turn it on and it wasn't in park. It was in first gear. So right when I turned it on, it jumped and it hit the car in front of us. And I was like, and then I go, I don't know. Something happened. Like the engine's broken. I don't know what happened. <laughs> and he goes, Oh my God, are you going to have to tell these people that you? And I go, No, get out and help me push it back in place. <laughs> so we got out and we pushed it back in place. And I go, The engine's broken. I don't know what's wrong with it. I'm going to have to call like somebody, my <laughs> so friend. Stupid. And then he was like, oh, Okay. I go, I got to go. And I locked up the car and I ran back and I was sitting in the bleachers just like, The commitment, sweating. the commitment <laughs> to the bit. <laughs> well, <laughs> But I had, I had, my street cred was getting getting tarnished, so Jeez. it was being challenged. So I had a, but I, but then the the fact that I fucking gaslit him, I'm oh. like, I don't know. I think you broke my car. Like something <laughs> happened. It was it was working before you got in my car. <laughs> and then I'm sitting in the in the bleacher going, oh man, my friend's dad. Because my friend's dad had no idea, yeah. right? And then when we left, he was like, huh? I was I I could have sworn I was at, like back further. <laughs> Because we, you know, he was back further, but when it jumped, it jumped all the way and hit the car in front of us. So I was like, oh my God. And he never knew. He no never way. knew. Mm -mm. And there was a dent on the front of his bumper, but I was all. To this day. To this day. Hmm. The commitment to the bet. Hey, man. When, you know, when I, when I say can I commit. Appreciate, we I can commit. appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> but the way I gaslit that poor guy. And he literally thought, he's like, did I? I did. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> Good times. Okay, so uh, I I just saw the other one I want to share. Um, is is we had a church outing. This was back when I lived in Samoa, <laughs> so mm -hmm. we would travel to a different island uh, for church, and it was a whole church thing. And I was super young. Me and my buddies were like super fired up because we had friends that lived on this other island, and they always talked about this local bar that this fafafingi. Uh, lady would sing it and we loved her voice because we heard her music before mm -hmm. so he was telling us yeah man it's gonna be awesome dude. you guys should go i said okay we're gonna be there this day blah 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 and then we'll go together we'll sneak out right so we were all sleeping in the outside house in samoa so that's like a house with like just a roof on it no walls mm -hmm. and like cement ground so we we're all sleeping out there and then me and three of my other friends or four of us i think uh escaped well not escape it just snuck out right and there was a bunch of adults looking watching over us they just didn't notice we just snuck out boom we take off we're at this bar that our friends take us to that live there and we're watching uh the the performance we're like fired up we're in the back we have all these beers on the table in front of us and uh, i pick up my beer and i start to drink and then someone touches my shoulder and i look like this it's my uncle right and he just slaps that beer out of my hands and we all we all get busted and 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 chased back to the church. So he's, nobody said anything when a bunch of kids walked into a bar. No, nah, this is Samoa, man. They oh. don't. They don't. I mean, our friends knew the who bought the beer. My friend. Mm. Yeah. So my friends knew the the people at the bar. Oh, your there's, friend that you went to go meet. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it. they don't. It's there's the, they don't card you over there. Yeah. You know, you look old. They'll, they'll sell you beer. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Especially at this place, you know, mm -hmm. and it was flooded because that that girls or the Fafa finger that sings is amazing. So yeah. we just wanted to watch her perform. Mm -hmm. Anyways, my uncle busted us. <laughs> We're on the van. He's like scolding us all the way back to the church. And you guys should be doing this. Should we do that? OK, when we get back, you guys aren't going anywhere with us tomorrow. You're staying here. You're just wait, gonna... wait. Did you even get a sip of that beer? No, it didn't. Even, it didn't. It was about to touch my He's all he is. Yeah. And then, oh. <laughs> then it got slapped out of my hand <laughs> <laughs> along with a piece of my face. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> so you go back. So we go back to the, and he's scolding us. We're, we're like, we can't do any of the activities anymore. We have to stay at the church and we're just going to do nothing but chores. Yeah. Like the entire time we're there. <laughs> right. And so that's what we did. But, but uh, that wasn't it. Like we all slept outside. And so 
my uncle parked the van. We all got out, jumped right into bed right there. And then he says, not you. Mm-hmm. Everyone else go to bed. Right. Mm-hmm. And then he, and then he just like laid into me like, mm-hmm. in front of all my He butt. whooped her ass in yeah, front of everybody. In front of everybody. Yeah. Supposedly sleeping. Who can sleep when you can hear yeah. that? Right. So, <laughs> <laughs> right. And he says, go to bed. So I crawl in there. <laughs> <laughs> so Were you crying? Of course I was crying. <laughs> <laughs> right? How old were you? I was like 12 or oh, okay. 13, maybe. I don't know. In a bar, mind you. Yeah. Yeah. That was bad. Anyway, so we're, we're, I was like crawling up. My buddy that went with me, he slept right next to me. He goes, hey, man, I'm sorry. <laughs> I said, F you, man. <laughs> Dang. They're like, sorry. Oh, man. shit. Hey, but like, look. Oof, that was rough. Yeah. Tough crowd. Yeah. yeah, but I was like, oh, no. He's going to tell my mom and dad. You know yeah. what I mean? I haven't even made it home yet. Mm-hmm. But he never said anything. Yeah, because why would he? He whooped your ass already. <laughs> You know, because if you told your mom, you would get your ass whooped again. Oh, yeah. 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 So he's like, nah. He got enough. Not only did I whoop his ass, but I embarrassed him. I humiliated <laughs> him in front of all his friends. So I think he's good. I think he's, I think he learned his lesson. <laughs> Dude, you know what I used to do? I used to, my dad used to, wait, my dad to this day still drinks the same beer as he, he did way back when. It's right? amazing. Just it's a different, amazing. a lighter version, if you will. <laughs> He's always been a Michelob guy, and so now he drinks Michelob Light, right? right. Or Michelob Ultra. Yeah. But back in the day, with those brown Michelob bottles, yeah. right, with the gold yeah. like foil on top, yeah. he used to be like, "Go get me a beer," and I'd be like, "Okay, yeah." <laughs> he always used to say, "That's why I had kids to go fetch me beers, right?" So we'd, you know, we'd go, and I would always crack it open, and I would drink it. Mind you, I'm like, mm, I don't know, eight. ten, eight, ten. I started drinking early, man. I was like, because it tastes, it was carbonated, so it tasted like soda. So I was like, yeah. And we were not allowed to drink soda at all. We yeah. only could only drink water or milk. And yeah. I hate milk, so I would always have to drink water from the top, by the way. So, <laughs> from the speak, hose. <laughs> speaking of which, because they didn't have no bottled water back then. Oh, the green hose. It was the hose outside yeah. or the sink in the kitchen. Yeah. Same. And so, speaking of the sink in the kitchen, I would crack that beer open, I would drink it. And then I would go fill it up with water, <laughs> and then I'd put the cap back on, and I'd go <laughs> and take the cap back off and take it home. And he never knew. He never knew. And we would get buzzed, like eight, nine, ten years old, just just little sips. And my dad drank a lot, so it's like two, three sips every beer. <laughs> and if he drank a 24-pack, I was kind of lit when I was 10 years old, man, or however old I was. But I remember I wasn't even in junior high. I was, like, literally in grade school. So, again... The, the story of you, the little Dumb stories shit. we showed shared with you at the beginning yeah. of our kids were yeah. like, man, at least we were doing what we were doing. It looks like we're winning. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Sheesh. Oh my gosh. So that was me. That yeah. was one of the things I did. Oh, I feel so bad sharing this, but it, it was a dumb shit I did. I, I used to steal my dad's truck. Mm-hmm. Why do you feel bad? Because it was his pride and joy, man. Oh. I remember when he bought it. I yeah. remember how pride how much pride he had in it because mm-hmm. you could buy it and pay for it and yeah so he loved that thing yeah you know it was a stick shift you know it was just a single cab truck mm-hmm. you know? and i didn't know how to drive stick but my buddy did mm-hmm. and he lived a couple houses down the road so i lived on a hill yeah so all i did was put that thing in neutral and then push it and jump in and then co- coast a couple houses down yeah pull over and then my buddy jump in fire it up and then we take off and he never knew I don't know. He, I think he knew, but he just didn't say anything because I didn't crash it or anything or, mm. or mess it up. I don't think he knew. I don't know. I, I think, think he, knew. he knew. I think he, ha- he had to because we were gone all night, man. We were gone. You would have. He would have <laughs> busted you so bad. There's no way he knew. Yeah. Well, I never. Because I, not only did I you never sneak out, not only did you yeah. sneak out, but then you took his his yeah. truck on top of that. There's no way yeah. he knew. I never got caught. Yeah. Let's yeah. just say that. That's yeah. pretty good. Well, I mean, <laughs> dumb shit. Yeah. Well, know? speaking of dumb, <laughs> and speaking of, I, I'm telling you, I've like my whole life I wanted to be an actress. So you know, when I gaslight a guy, telling him he broke my cart that wasn't mine, right? I used to. There was a liquor store by our house, mm-hmm. and my brother and my cousin Brendan, uh-huh. we lived in the same apartment building, but right. just like two doors down from each other. And so we would always go to this liquor store. Well, we never had money. Yeah. So they used to like steal candy from there all the time. Right. And I'm, I always wanted to hang out with them so bad. And I'm like, please <laughs> take me again. They're like, no, fuck off. Like, and I'm like, 
So then I followed him one day, and but I was running because they tried to ditch me. Right. And I was running, and then we ran into the store, and I was all sweaty. <laughs> and they were like, they didn't even go in the store. They they went around the building because they were trying to lose me. Oh. And I was like, oh, I don't see him in here. And then <laughs> I remember the guy that behind the counter was looking at me. He's like, you okay? I was like, oh, yeah, I'm just exercising. <laughs> I'm like six, maybe. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm just exercising. He's like, oh, okay. You're like, ooh. I need, I'm tired. I need to sit down because the, remember the loose bazooka gums? Yeah. And they used to be in the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. in the basket. In the baskets yeah. at the bottom of the liquor store. Yeah. And there was all different kinds of candy yeah. or whatever. And I was like, I just saw them and I was like, oh, um, let me just sit down. So I'd sit down on the basket and then I'd reach my hand behind me <laughs> and grab a whole bunch, a whole handful of bubble gum. And then I would stick it in my underwear. <laughs> <laughs> stick it in the back of my underwear. And I'm like, oh, yeah, this is me jogging and exercising. <laughs> uh, all right, well, I got to go. And then I walk out there with a wad in my ass, get her out. And I was like, yeah, I had all this. And my brother's like, where you go? And I was like, don't you worry about it. <laughs> and then I shoved my hand in my ass and I pulled out a whole handful of like bazooka guns. And they're like, oh, where'd you get that? Share it with us. And I was like, no, and like, please. And so I did. But I was like, I acted like I was the actress of uh, an Academy Award winning actress stealing bubble gum saying, "Woo." It's hot out there. Oh, I'm tired. I, I'm exercising. I, I need to sit down. And I just was shoveling bazooka in my ass. Like like, it, like, like, a, like I had a pocket back there. And I did it. So there you go. How many times did you do that? Man, I did that. Uh, I, I can't even, so many times I can't even remember. Was it the same guy? No, everything? sometimes it was. But mm -hmm. a lot of times it wasn't. Mm -hmm. And um, it was a, there was an old lady in there. And she was old as dirt, and she didn't pay attention to anything. So sometimes I didn't even have to put on my Academy Award winning act. You just I just walk in, walk I just out. walk in there, and as soon as she turned her back, I'd be like, just grab a handful, and I'd wear like a hoodie or something with pockets, so I could just fill my pockets. But yeah, the last time I did it though, because you know you get greedy, you get sure. you get away with it. Yeah. I got greedy, and all three of us were there. Yeah. And then he was like, "Hey, what are you guys doing?" And we we're like, "Ah!" And we just <laughs> ran out. And we never went back. <laughs> my dad's like, "Go in there." And before you could you could buy cigarettes for your parents. I remember. If your parents just wrote a note saying, I give my daughter Noel permission to buy me a pack <laughs> of Marlboro Reds 100s or whatever they're called, <laughs> you give it to the guy at 7-Eleven and he'd be like, okay, and he'd let you buy them. <laughs> and I used to have to go to the store to buy my dad's cigarettes all the time. <laughs> and you know what? Most people would probably go and smoke them mm -hmm. or whatever mm -hmm. and say, I don't know what happened. I got jumped on the way home mm -hmm. or something. No, I never smoked <laughs> Never smoked them. Never smoked Yet. Them. <laughs> Just drank the beers? Just drank the beers. <laughs> the beers are more, more yeah. interesting the than other the things, smokes. Exactly. I smoke clothes, okay? I have class. <laughs> Stupid. But I didn't. I would always go to the store and buy him like two packs of smokes. <laughs> all kinds of stuff. So. Yeah. Um, I'm going to share one more. Okay. Okay. So similar <laughs> similar to Dason's, uh, Dason's story when she was in school with the Forge Signature, I too... Performed the same act as a young <laughs> young kid in school. Okay. What did you right? do? <laughs> I tried to forge my dad's signature on, on a homework slip. Mm. You know, like like they give you homework slips if you don't do your homework. So yeah. I didn't do my homework. So mm -hmm. give me homework. I was supposed to get my parents to sign it. Every time I did it, I got, you know, lectured, get crap beat out of me, blah, 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 right? Yeah. <clears throat> um, so I didn't want to do it that time. Mm -hmm. No, I forgot to do it. I just signed it on my own so I could turn it in the next day. Mm -hmm. And then turns out my teacher is my aunt, mm -hmm. who's best friends with my mom. <laughs> what do you mean, turns out? Did you not know she no. was your aunt? <laughs> my stupid shit. <laughs> Funny enough, I tried to forge it with my, I don't know, aunt. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hell? Yeah, she knew it wasn't. Yeah. She told my mom I got in trouble. I got busted, right? So, um, Coming home that from school that day, I knew I was in trouble. My mom was like, I could, I walked to, you walk in front of my grandma's house where we were living at the time. There's a big window. My mom is standing here looking at me going, <laughs> right? So I'm like. Did, did oh. she go, you, come yeah. in. She's like, get in the house. <laughs> so I'm like, uh, that was a long walk into the house, right? And then my grandma's there. My grandma's yelling at me. So my mom goes, go outside and give me a stick, mm -hmm. right? And I said, okay, <laughs> right? So as I'm running outside to go get a stick, I go, my grandma's in there. She'll get a kick out of this. So maybe I can make it light, right? So I went and got, instead of getting a, a regular stick, mm -hmm. I, I got a twig. And I ran in. 
I ran in with the tape and I gave it to my mom. And my mom looked at it and she looked at me. And my grandma started laughing. Yeah. Right. And then my mom didn't even laugh. She mm -hmm. just grabbed that. I think it was a broomstick right here. <laughs> and I was done. I was done. And it made my grandma laugh even more. <laughs> Why is it that they laugh when you're getting abused? <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Well, you should have known better than I that. I should have known better. But I thought if I could make my grandma laugh, it'd make my mom laugh and it'd lighten the thing. But yeah. It didn't work. It just made my grandma laugh <laughs> yeah, even oh, more. <laughs> oh, won't do that again. <laughs> oh, that didn't work. You're all too late. Too late. <laughs> You're all wait, wait. Let me go back. I want to do over. Abort. Abort. Yeah, abort. <laughs> I dropped it. Yeah. It's back there. <laughs> <laughs> like, where's, where's the stick I gave you? I didn't give you that one. You like start gaslighting yeah. me. <laughs> what are you talking about? Where'd you get that from? <laughs> yeah, what? I didn't bring that in. But, yeah, where, see, it's right here. <laughs> where's the one? I brought the broomstick. What are you talking about? <laughs> She's like, a guy. <laughs> she did. Uh, oh my God. I have a similar story, yes. actually. <laughs> Speaking of which, so <laughs> one time my cousin, he had a baby sister, and we used to play football in the street. Oh, yeah, this is good. Barefoot, right? And so I grew up with all boys. So we're playing football in the street, whatever. And then my cousin's little sister was there, and she was like maybe two. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, cute she's here and she was standing on the back of my grandpa's cadillac right on the trunk and i was like she was standing on the back so i was holding her and i was doing this like like throwing her up in the air and i would put her back down in the car and she would giggle and i would keep doing it and we yeah. were having a blast yeah and so my grandma called me and so i went to go see whatever she needed i came back and i went to do it again and i looked up and then my little cousin spit on my face like spit in my mouth actually and i was like i was like ah you know, the, uh, and then I was like, what the hell? Yeah. And she was like, no, he told me to do it. Her brother said, hey, you know what would be really funny? <laughs> is if you spit in her mouth. That would be really funny. So I turned around and he was like, ah, because he was afraid of me because he was younger than me. And I we took off barefoot, yeah. hot, uh, like hot asphalt in the middle of the street, chased his ass down, grabbed him by the back of his hair because he had a little afro, grabbed him by the back of his hair, drug him down and pummeled him in the yeah. middle of the street. Right. So all my cousins are laughing yeah. because for whatever reason, violence makes them laugh. <laughs> so I was tearing his ass up and they're all laughing. And they're like, my uh, aunt was like, get off him, get off him. And then um, so I, I got off him. I went over there and she's like, come here. And she was she's my dad's sister. OK, she was my dad's sister. And she was like yelling at me in Samoan. And at the time, I could understand what she was saying. Sure. And I talked back instead of just saying just listening. I said, well, he did you know he told her to do and she looked at me and she goes hey go get a branch from that tree over there and i was like what mind you i'm half white so like we didn't do this kind of stuff in my house so i'm like what and so i she goes go get that branch over there under that peach tree because it was my grandma's peach tree hmm. and i was like okay because i was so bad dude i like i had a chip on my shoulder i went i got the thing and i gave it to her and she just it's like she just looked at me and i was all she goes, sit down. So I sat down in the lawn chair because we were all outside. Sat down in the lawn chair and she went, bah! <laughs> she just racked, raked it across my, or wrapped it across my thighs, both thighs, snapped in half. And by the way, this branch was like this long and it was like two inches thick. Mm -hmm. And I was like, and it cracked in half and I had this just deep bruise across my, my thighs and I was all, and then I was like, I'm not going to cry because she made me angry. <laughs> and But then I was like, just trying to hold it in and then she's like yelling at me and cursing at me and someone tell me get the hell out of there and i was like oh and as soon as i turned around i was all <laughs> <laughs> i'm walking like this like so by the way this is in the 80s okay so like <laughs> this was how we got raised but i was like holy shit but i i pummeled <laughs> my cousin that's probably why you went you went a little over i did i went over yeah. i gave him a bloody nose yeah i was so mad i was like that's humiliating for someone to spit in your mouth. Yeah. That's pretty bad. Yeah. I'm all you little sadist. Who tells somebody to do who tells a two year old to do that? What the <laughs> hell? But anyway, I got in trouble for that. Really bad. Worth for it. Physical Wor violence. <laughs> Worth it. I know. And then Mike and then he laughs at me, right? <clears throat> you know how like the worst thing is like, when you're in trouble and mm. someone laughs at you? It happens all the time. You just yeah. you kinda black I don't know, maybe just me. You just black out nope. and you're nope. like <laughs> you file that you file that away and no i just i'm i'm like oh oh is that what we're doing <laughs> and i was like okay hey 
at least I don't have a bloody nose. So we're like talking shit <laughs> to each other across the living room, right? And I'm like, because we're both in trouble. But I was like, dang, we just were wild and wooly back then. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's a lot more. There is a lot more. There is a lot more. <laughs> Dude, okay, let me tell you this one. This one's really funny. So, well, it's not funny. It's very interesting. So my dad had a, uh, he had a girlfriend, mm-hmm. that, a live-in girlfriend, and mm-hmm. we couldn't stand her. And she had all these weird rules. Mm-hmm. Like, you couldn't wear shorts if it was raining. Like, what? Who cares? We're living in Southern California. <laughs> like, who cares? It's still like 75 degrees when it's raining. So she had all these weird rules, and all my friends were like, they all dressed really cool and had all the new clothes, and I didn't, right? I was the poor kid who didn't have anything. And so my one of my best friends, she had, like, everything, guest jeans, everything. And so she would come and walk with me to school. Mm-hmm. So she would come and get me. And she would have she would bring clothes for me so I could look cool too. This is how cool she was, right? Mm-hmm. She bring she bring clothes and makeup for me because mm-hmm. I wasn't allowed to wear makeup. Yeah, and so this was the eighth grade, mm-hmm. and so we'd go and we walk down the street, turn the corner, and there was this big on the corner. There was a big bush that kind of like, you know, kind of yeah. cornered you know the corner, yeah. if you will. And but there was a lot of space behind that bush. Sure. And so I would jump in those bushes <laughs> and I would change my clothes and I would put makeup on, <laughs> so I could look cool when I went to school. So I did that for months, right? Mini skirts, like this was the 80s, so like leg warmers. I was killing it, man. I looked so fly. Man, she hooked it up. Totally hooked it up. And then I would come back. I would leave my clothes in those bushes. <laughs> and then I would come back and then change, change. and then go back, right? Mm-hmm. Well, one day I was running late, and I was like, I totally forgot. And then I was like, oh, shoot. I got to go get my, I got to go change my clothes. So I ran to the corner, and my clothes were gone. And I'm like, how the hell am I going to go home <laughs> like this? So I had to walk home. And I had to walk home and walk in the house like that. And I got in so much trouble. Like, where did you get this? I never told him about the bushes because sure. in case I needed that little hide, hiding spot again. <laughs> but I was like, oh, I just changed at school. And then someone stole my clothes. Because they did. I don't know who did it. I think it was the old man that lived on the corner. He probably, he probably saw me changing or something. But he stole my clothes. Or somebody did. Yeah. And I had to go home <laughs> with my stuff. I had to go home and, yeah. Pay the piper, if you will. And that was, I, I think I missed out on going to a concert or something that weekend. I was devastated. Mm. I know. I know. It was a Lesson tough learned. Lesson learned. <laughs> anyway, well, that just made me even more bitter. So I would get in even more trouble. <laughs> and I would find stuff to do just because. Just because, you know, <laughs> revenge. <laughs> revenge is my friend. So here's a story about uh, when I was in high school. And um, I think it was like ninth grade. My dad used to work at a store next door to our high school. Um, and I would every now and then go to him and say, hey, can I borrow, can I borrow money for lunch? I'd, I'd ask for like five bucks or whatever. And he was would, it this the <clears throat> store for like um, military? It's the post exchange. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it's the post exchange. So what did your dad do there? He was a, a manager of the warehouse. Oh, okay. Yeah, manager of the, he was there for a long time. Mm. So I would go, not every day, but I would go. Because I felt bad going every day, but I would still go. <laughs> <laughs> I felt bad, but you know, I still go. And he'd give me five bucks all the time, mm. right? And uh, and I'd use that to eat, whatever. Uh-huh. Um, but the, <laughs> but the thing about it is, is he'd give me that money for lunch to eat, and I wouldn't use it. And I would go in there, and I would steal mm. from the store. I would. I was so bad. What did you steal? I would steal f- like chips and soda. And didn't your grandma have a store that you can get that? My stuff grandma from? had a store, yeah. Yeah. I would steal from my You're grandma's store. Badass kid. <laughs> <laughs> He'd give you money and then you would go steal at his job while he's working. While he's working. That's dude. That was, it was just... the worst. I was the worst. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I was so it was so bad. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> so what happened? No, I'm just that's it. I oh, would, you okay. know, the fact the stupid shit I did, yeah. you know, I'd get, he'd give me money, plus I'd go in there and, you know, it feels so bad. Did you, know? you still did you still cigarettes? No, no, not from there. From, no. my, from my grandma's no. store. Oh still. no, no, that was from my grandma's store. <laughs> so I'm stealing from my grandma. <laughs> also, <laughs> she's Louise. I know. Sorry, 
That was a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> I was a stupid kid. <laughs> but I guess when you're on an island, you're like, you get island fever, right? You're like you're bored and you do dumb stuff. I don't know if that's it. I don't think that was it. It was just the crowd I was hanging out with. Oh, okay. The influence they had on me. And yeah. I had on them. And yeah. It was awful. Yeah. It wasn't the best. Oh, my gosh. So, like, these are just a few of the <laughs> yeah. many stories we had because right. we were two both badass kids. <laughs> and I don't mean that in a good way. I mean, like, we were terrible yeah um, i think about my life stuff. now yeah right after talking about all that yeah i feel blessed yeah. super blessed <laughs> i feel blessed i stole from my grandma but that's neither here nor there <laughs> <laughs> i made I'm her sorry. file bankruptcy because like for some reasons all of the goods were being stolen i don't know what happened to them but anyway <laughs> no that never happened i'm sorry grandma i'm sorry dad <laughs> too late <laughs> it feels so bad no, I'm just saying, like, we were, <laughs> like, the things we did, we did not want our kids to, to do. Repeat, of course. Um, but f talk about being blessed. We just yeah. have three kids who were just amazing. And yeah. they literally are really good humans <laughs> yeah. because they would, you know, do yeah. the silliest things. And yeah. they weren't deal breakers. No. They were just kid shit. Right. Um, and, and, and let me just to add to that, mm -hmm. like, you will do dumb shit. Like we all do it. Yeah. Like that's why we wanted to share that with you. Like, yeah. Your mistakes don't define you. No. Is basically what we're saying, yeah. right? They don't define you. Mm -hmm. You're going to make mistakes or, you're, you know, you're just going to make a decision, a rash decision mm -hmm. at that moment. And you're going to be like, oh man, I shouldn't have made that. Right. But you know, your mistakes don't define you. No. And so you just got to keep moving along. Yeah. So we just wanted to share that with you and yeah. all of our, our silly things that we did when we were, you know, and illegal things that we did when we were younger. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like stealing candy and you know, <laughs> whatever you were stealing from your grandma's store and you know but um but yeah we we are so grateful mm -hmm. that our kids did not turn out like us yeah. and that's usually the goal yeah. so um if you're listening to this and you have kids just know that you know disciplining them and punishing them are two different things right right so disciplining them is walking them through what they did was Mistakes, wrong, yeah. why why it's wrong, mm -hmm. and what they could have done Different, better or better. what they could do next time, right? Yeah. Punishment is just, you know, blaming them yeah. and making them feel like an awful person for making a mistake. And we all make mistakes. We all make mistakes. Right? So, and if you're not a parent and you're watching this and yeah. maybe you Made. you fucked up um, somewhere along <laughs> the line, yeah. whether it's with a person or at a job yeah. or with a friend yeah. or you stole something or yeah. whatever, just remember that does not define no. you. And if you are a good human, mm -hmm. you will fix it and yeah. you will move on. Correct. All right. So. And with that being said, let's, let's uh, leave them with the quote of the day. Go for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the quote of the day is the most valuable thing you can make is a mistake. Mm-hmm. You can't learn anything from being perfect. Oh, so good. And that's especially for my Virgos and my Sagittarians out there who <laughs> think time. that you have to be, or the A-type personality, mm. you have to be perfect all the time. Mm. First of all, it's impossible, and it's an, you're never going to meet that standard. Right. And secondly, like, how are you going to learn? Yeah. And to all my introverts, don't be afraid to make those mistakes. Mm. Right? Yeah. That's yeah. what it's all about. Yeah. You know what I mean? Absolutely. I love it. And... With that, we are going to wrap this up. So thank you guys so much for joining us <laughs> today. You. Episode 16. Don't forget to like, share, and six, comment. Six. And mm. we would love for you guys to um, send us some more ideas or maybe stories <laughs> that you want us to talk about. That would be awesome. And we will flush them out and we will bring them here to the people. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for joining thank us. You. Episode 16. And we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.